In this clip, we will see all the steps necessary for carrying out a project from scratch in Leave Resk. I have chosen as an example a simple project with a single section, an interactive physics lesson with the theme of electric current. I have previously established the structure and content of the lesson, and the interactive materials I will introduce are already on my computer, so we can get to work. I will start by making a new directory. In Organizer. That I call electric current. And in this directory, I will make a section with the same name. With a double click, I enter the edit mode of the section. I will first check the option to limit the width of the screen, so that when viewing on screens with a very high resolution, it is not very wide. After which, I choose my work theme, so that I will use shades of blue. I first enter a row, with a single cell, where I enter text. I take that text, from a previously prepared Word document, to which I add a bookmark, so that I can use it to make the table of contents. I will color the cell and the row with a light blue hue. After which I will introduce a new row, this time with two cells. In the first cell I will enter text, from the earlier document. Notice that it has kept formatting settings, the text is of list type. In the other cell, I want to insert two GIF type images. To do this, I enter two default image resources, which I edit one at a time, with double click. I change the default image with the one from my computer. I go back to the section. The second image. I go back. And because the text is very important, I will also make a border using advanced editing options. I will insert a border. First, I write the thickness. Then the color, I make it red. After which I will also round the corners. We observe the obtained result. The two cells are disproportionate, and for this reason, I change their size and check the result with the preview button. It's OK. I will now introduce other text cells. The text kept its formatting. For the first cell, I associate a bookmark. On the second, I format it additionally, align the text on the center, and add a border to it. 
the time has come to introduce a video. For this, I enter a row with a single cell into which I enter a default video resource. With a double click, I go into editing mode, and first, I change the source of the video. I enter a YouTube link. Write a title to it. Then choose the option, to hide the title bar. And delete the default poster, so that the poster is selected from a frame of my movie. I go back to editing mode, and see the result. If we want the video to run in a separate window, we do the following. Return to the edit mode, and select for that resource, the option to run in a pop-up window. For this, the resource must first be saved in organizer. I go back into the edit mode of the resource and at the top, I have the export to organizer button. I select the directory, select a name, and export option, then go back. In this section I mark the cell where the video resource is located, and for the action function, I choose the option to launch a resource. I select the resource just saved. And also I select the option to hide the launch button, which we see down here. I hide the button. We see the result again using the preview button. Now when I click on the video, a pop-up window opens, and the clip will run in this window. I go back to editing mode. I enter another line containing text. And next, I will introduce an interactive accordion resource. The accordion resource allows you to write questions for example, and display the answer to these questions only on click, on the question. Here's how we're going to do it. I go into editing mode. Hide the title, which I don't need. And with copy paste I write the three questions, and their answers. And finally, the third question, where I have something new. I will introduce a math equation into the response text, with the help of the integrated editor. It uses LaTeX language, the equation is already in place, check it, it's ok, and I'll get back to the section. I view the result of this operation. I see that if I click on the text of a question, the answer appears. Things being ok, I can move on. Next, after I have introduced some text cells, I will also introduce an image gallery to be launched by clicking on a text cell. I have the text prepared, and next, I will make the gallery type resource. To do this, I go into the organizer, make sure I'm in the working directory. Create a new gallery resource. Which I rename. And with a double click, I go into editing mode. I exchange the default images, with the ones already prepared. First picture first. Now the second. And then the third picture.
I'm putting up a title. And I'm done with the resource. I close it, go back to the section, mark the text item I want, and I select the launch of a resource as an action. I'm looking for the resource where I've made it. And I'm also giving the command to hide the launch button. We visualize the result. When you click on that text, the image gallery appears in a pop-up window. I added a few more cells containing text, a picture, and some video resources. I've come close to the end, and here I want to introduce a quiz. For this, I bring to the work area a quiz type resource, which I edit. I hide the title first, and for the first question, I choose the type. For example, drag and drop. I write the requirement first. Basically, for solving, the corresponding text variant must be drawn to the correct position. I have to write a text in which I insert with figures the points where the text should be entered. And now, I'm going to fill out the two answers. I select the option to shuffle variants. I also have the possibility that they will appear one at a time, and I can also position the answer variants in different positions, compared to the question. I'm not changing the default options. I add a second question. Of single choice type. And I write the question or requirement first. And I give the answer variance. I'm adding another variant. And I'm making sure the correct option is checked. I have, at the end, other possible options that I leave in the default version. I'm back, and I can see what this questionnaire looks like. I have the two response options that I have to place in the right positions. It's been resolved correctly. Now the other one is the right answer. In one last step, I'm going to make a few changes to how are going to appear different items on the screen. I introduce effects. For example, this definition. I'm going to bring it from the right. And I can also make some changes, the duration, for example, I can make it longer. And I can also bring this item, from the bottom. Likewise, I can change the time it takes to get into position, and I see the final result. At this point, the section is basically completed. I now move on to the next stage, that of realizing the project.
I return to the organizer and create a new project in the working directory. I rename it. And with a double click, I go into editing mode. By default, the project has an empty section, introduced by Leave Resk. From the Add from Organizer button, I enter the section that I made. After which I delete the default section. I move on to the first stage, that of realizing the table of contents. I will select all bookmarks. And I structure them. And then go to the preferences page. Here I add a title. Choose the same theme as I originally put. Choose the variant of infinite scroll. The rest of the options remaining unchanged. On the identity page, I'm going to put a title again. All items in this area are important when we publish the book, on our personal page or in the Livresc library. We can add authors, a cover image, text, table of contents, and so on. Having all these elements completed, I can now export the project. I will export the project as an HTML package. I give him a name, and I save him. Next, I unzip the package. And and launch the index.html file, which, as you can see, opens the page with the lesson that I have prepared.